Hi everybody and welcome to the DevOps Mixology feature. My name is Murdo McLeod, your mixologist for today. And today we're going to be shaking up two drinks that have got an upstream management theme. So we've got an alcoholic drink, which is the Blueberry Super Stream. And we've got a non-alcoholic drink, which is the Vita Coco Cooler. The Vita Coco Cooler. Fantastic. So let's get started. So uh, for people that have shaken with us before, you may have a cocktail shaker at home. If you do, fantastic. We're putting all the ingredients in here, shaking it to get it cold and then stirring it into our glass. Or if you don't have a cocktail shaker, then what you can do is put all the ingredients in a sealable coffee cup. That's a sealable coffee cup or otherwise put everything in a bowl and we'll stir it real quick with ice to get it cold. Good. So the first one we're going to do today is the alcoholic one and that is the Blueberry Super Stream. It's going to end up in a glass like this um, with a wide neck. Um, um, the purpose of so will become apparent very soon. Okay, so it's going to end up in that glass. And let's all do this together. So hopefully you have your ingredients there at home. So for this one, we need one shot of gin. So that's one shot or 25 mils of gin. In it goes. And next, we need one shot or 25 mils of blue caracal, which is orange liqueur. Uh, that is now in the mix. And we need 200 of um, pineapple juice. So we'll just pop that in now. So that's four of these. 200 of pineapple juice um, into the mix. And then lastly, it's lemon. So if you have half a lemon that you can uh, squeeze, that would be amazing. Uh, otherwise, I do have some pre-squeezed lemon juice here that I'm going to pop there into the mix. So let's do this. So let's shake this up. So first of all, what you need is you need some ice. So the first thing is if you can pop some ice into your shakers, guys, please. And also what I'd like you to do is pop some ice into the destination glass. There we go. So popping some ice into the destination glass there. So let's do the shaking part. So to do this, let's put your shaker together or the top on your sealable coffee cup. What we're going to do is we're going to shake it and we're going to make it cold and frothy. So shake. A good hard shake there, everybody. Take your shaker apart. Now, here's what we need to do now. What we want to do is we want to uh, take the ice out of here. So what I'd suggest is that you strain it into the other part of your shaker. So what we now have is just the liquid and it's in there, it's cold, it's shaken, but it has no ice in there. And the reason for such is because we're going to do a super pour. So this is a super stream. This is a blueberry super stream. What we're going to do, we've always poured here, but we're going to do a high pour, everybody, night now today. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to start down here. So you've got the navigation of the glass. And then as you pour, just lift up for a bit of a theatrical pour. So here we go. Pour close and lift in. And look at that. There we go. It's a super stream. It's a blueberry super stream. There we go, guys. And then a little bit round the edge. Now, cocktails are all about delight and excite. So we need a garnish that really brings this to life. I'm thinking blueberries, but what, what I'd suggest is you get one of these big sticks, a big cocktail stick. Now what we can do is you can feed the blueberries all the way up the stick, like a little kebab. Let's pop them all on there. Um, and the reason that you need a big long stick for this one um, is it's much more dramatic, basically, uh, in your glass. If you've got something like this, there we go. How's that for a garnish? And then what you can do is you can place that into the glass like so. Pop these away. And there we have it. We have introducing everybody the Blueberry Super Stream. There we go. Fantastic. 
But as always, we have another cocktail to make, or rather another non-alcoholic cocktail to make. And the one that we're going to day today is the Vita Coco Cooler. So Vita, water, coco, coconut, cooler, cold. Vita Coco Cooler, <laughs> okay. So let's do this one. This one is going to be in a highball destination glass. So if you could grab one of them, that would be good. But we're also going to shake this cocktail. So if you grab your shaker, that would be good. And shake here. Now, Vita Coco Cooler. You might have guessed we're going to be using uh, Vita uh, Coco Vita, which is coconut water. And for this one, uh, you need um, 200 of the coconut water. So that's four of these into the shaker, if you would, please. Fantastic. And the next thing that we're going to add to this is, um, it's actually goji berry. So with, if you pick out your goji berry smoothie, then you just need uh, uh, 50 mils of that. And then we'll just pop that into the mix. And then uh, revisit your lemon. So you might have half a lemon that's already squeezed. Let's use the other half of that. Or in my case, I'm just dropping in the juice there. Uh, and again, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to put some ice, first of all, into your destination glass, like so. Try to fill it um, all the way to the top if you can. And then you also just need a little bit of ice into your shaker right now. Right, so let's do this. Top on your shaker. Turn to the side and give it a shake. So what to do with this one, we're going to strain out close to the top of the glass. It needs to be close to the top of the glass because there's only a narrow neck on the top of this one, rather than the wide neck which was on that one there. Um, so and with this one, it's got... Um, it's got some apple in there that was inside the smoothie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an apple garnish, because if possible, you should try to garnish your mocktails, cocktails with elements from within the drink. And if you cut a slit on the top of there, then we can just pop that on the top. And popping it on the top just brings it out basically with contrasting colors. And there we have it, a Vita Coco Cooler and a Blueberry Super Stream. So I hope you have enjoyed this edition of the DevOps Mixology Sessions. Um, I hope you enjoy creating these at home, just adding a little bit of creative and sparkle to your drinks, adding a little bit of drama to your drinks. Hi pours everybody guys, that was a new feature for today. Like to bring you something new all the time that we meet. Um, so I hope you enjoy these two. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much.